Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is leg cramps. And, but before starting the topic, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now the leg cramps uh, are the common and usually harmless condition where the muscle in your leg suddenly become tight and painful. And uh, it usually occurs uh, in the calf muscles. So it can affect any part of the leg, including your feet and thighs. Now after the cramping has passed, you may have pain and tenderness in your leg for several hours, you know. And uh, three out of four cases occur at night during the sleep. Now the leg cramps can occur for no reason, uh, known as idiopathic leg cramps, you know, or uh, uh, as a symptom or the complication of the health condition uh, which are known as uh, secondary leg cramps you know and uh, the causes of the secondary leg cramps include like uh, pregnancy or exercise or certain types of medication such as statins or the liver diseases you know and the statins are the medications which are uh, used to uh, help to lower the cholesterol levels in the blood you know now, during a cramp, your muscles uh, suddenly contract, which means it shorten, you know, uh, causing the pain in your leg. And uh, this is known as the spasm, and uh, you cannot control the affected muscle. Uh, the cramp uh, can last for a few seconds to 10 minutes. And uh, when the spasm passes, uh, you will be able to control the affected muscle again. And uh, most of the time it is very painful and uh, irritating, you know. Now, you should speak to your doctor uh, if your leg cramps are affecting your quality of life. And uh, for example, if you are uh, frequent leg cramps or they are in, uh, like interfering with uh, your sleep, you know. So your GP will uh, ask you about the symptoms and uh, examine your leg and feet, you know. And uh, uh, they may also ask you if uh, you have any other symptoms, you know, such as numbness or swelling, you know, or the reflexes are normal, you know, you will perform the physical examination. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, uh, for the further evaluation, he may uh, order the blood tests and the urine tests to rule, rule out any other underlying cause, you know. Now, the most causes. Uh, in most of the cases, you know, it uh, uh, can be revealed by exercising and uh, uh, that affect the muscle, you know. And uh, exercising your legs during the day will often help reduce how often uh, you get the cramping episodes, you know. And uh, to stretch your calf muscle, stand up with front half of your feet uh, one step you know and uh, with your heels hanging uh, off the edge and slowly uh, lower your heels so uh, that are able uh, uh, just uh, below the level of step you know and uh, hold for a few seconds before lifting your uh, heels back up to the starting position and uh, repeat a number of times you know now the medication is usually only needed if the persistent ca persistently it causes you know and uh, where the cramping does not respond to the exercise and if you are secondary uh, the, if these are the cramps are secondary to any other underlying condition you know and uh, the treatment of that particular underlying condition is very important to get rid of these cramps and uh, uh, the treating the cramps that occur as a result of the serious liver disease can be more difficult. Uh, and uh, your treatment plan may include like using medications such as muscle relaxants. You know? uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.